It's been a long time coming, but here we are today for the inaugural one-on-one -on -one doubles professional tennis tournament at Golden Ocala Golf and Equestrian Club in Ocala, Florida to showcase this great new game of tennis, one-on-one -on -one doubles. I'm Whitney Kraft, Director of Tennis at the USDA Billie Jean King Tennis Center. I'm here today with my broadcast partner and founder of one-on-one -on -one doubles, Ed Kras. Ed, tell us about the game. One-on-one -on -one doubles, it's the half-court serve and volley singles game played on the doubles court. The server has to serve and volley on both serves, or there's a loss of point. All balls are played on the diagonal cross court. On display with this tournament is the new design for the one-on-one -on -one doubles court. As you can see, the singles lines from the service line to the baseline have been removed, and the middle lines from the service line to the baseline have been added. Each match is first to win five games using no ad scoring. The player who wins the most games in this round robin format wins the tournament. Today we're featuring a one day tournament of one on one doubles with four of the game's legends. Michael Pernforce, known for his tenacious play at the University of Georgia, where he won back to back NCAA singles titles in 84 and 85. Michael was a French Open singles finalist in 1986, where he reached a career high of number 10 in singles and number 32 in doubles. He has career wins over Pete Sampras, Andre Agassi, Jim Courier, Stefan Edberg, and John McEnroe. Murphy Jensen won 10 national doubles titles as a junior, winning the Orange Bowl 16s and 18s doubles title in 1985 and 1987. He became a Grand Slam doubles champion when he won the French Open doubles title in 93 with his brother Luke. As a world team tennis coach, his team, the Washington Castles, went undefeated to win the 2011 World Team Tennis Championship. Johan Creek was the winner of 14 singles titles and eight doubles titles. He became a Grand Slam singles champion when he won the 1981 and 1982 Australian Open titles. He was a semifinalist in the French Open in 1986. He achieved a career high ATP singles ranking of number seven in the world with victories over Agassi, Ford, Connors, Edberg, McEnroe, and Vilas. We have American Tim Wilkinson from Charlotte, North Carolina. Tim was the winner of six ATP singles titles and nine doubles titles. He reached the round of 16 at the Australian Open in 1985 and 1986. Reached the quarters of the U.S. Open in 86. Tim has career wins over John McEnroe, Andre Agassi, and Pete Sampras. Tim, known as Dr. Dirt, is famous for his aggressive style and leaving his feet and skinning his knees. These guys will showcase the great new format of one-on-one -on -one doubles. Stick around and see how this will benefit your game. Let's see some action. first round of this round robin features Murphy Jensen versus Johan Creek. Michael Pernforce versus Tim Wilkinson is round one. They're ready to go. See what happens here. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Murphy's having a little fun with him. All right. The yeah, he knows. He's already got the shaved head. He's talking about the loser shaving, shaving head. He loves to bait his opponents. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Murphy's already pumped up. That's how I'm going to do it all day long, babe. Okay, we got both lefties starting out, Ed. Well, that's that's the way it's played, Ed. Make that, make that server volley up and then finish it. All right, again. Pretty low. Jensen. Johan's looking at his strings. He wants to make Murphy play. He gave him a chance to close in and get into that ideal volley position. And he hit the middle. 30, that's, that's one on one Jensen. doubles for you. That, that middle line really defines the boundary there. Oh, that's a good Out. point. I think that's what you expect to see in one on one doubles. That is, you got to play through guys so you get some great points. Oh. 
That's pretty the way Johan stepped around and hit the inside out forehand there. 30 all. Wilkinson's in good shape. Got to come in on everything and a lot of balls right at your feet. There's a beauty. Out of the air swinging volley, that's a toughie. Great, great lob by Creek. Showing super touch already early in the tournament. Good, good eye from Michael on that one. Swing forces working him right to left, making it tough on him. Oh, there we go. Looking at a three all point right off the bat. Pressure point coming up for Murphy and Johan. There we go. Game Wilkinson. All right. First game. That time go. he was able to withstand uh, the half volley. It wasn't as deep as the other one, but he was able to win the point, you know? So. Hey! Game Jensen. First game. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm going to share with you the lost art of returning and coming in behind the return of serve. Now there's two ways to do it. There's the split of course in the chip, which is called chip and charge, or there's the split and the smash, which is smash and crash. Split, hit. Chip and charge, smash and crash! My favorite tennis moment was definitely playing Davis Cup for Sweden. I played in about five ties, and uh, in particular, I remember the, the finals we played against Australia in uh, 1986. We didn't win, but I played some of my best tennis and team effort, and just being with the Swedish guys for the ties that I played was great. We're watching one-on-one -on -one doubles, new format of tennis, the half-court serve and volley game. Pretty exciting out here, Whitney. What do you think, Ed? Is the serve a uh, high, deep kicker, or they go for the flat one and one-on-one? -on -one? What an overhead, huh? Perfect. 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 Sweet, down the middle. Terrific half volley from Johan, but he couldn't finish the high volley. Didn't too much swing on that one. Yeah. Out. First serve percentage is going to play out importantly here at the end. Wow. That's a great play. Murphy Jensen. Love 30 Jensen. From the middle to out wide, that was real good displacement. Tim just a little Four. wide on that return. Mm -hmm. oh, la, la. oh, they clean the line. Creek <laughs> wants to come back and come back and win this game. That was good momentum switch there. Oh, nice one again. No, oh, that's a terrific exchange. This is what makes this game so great, Ed, is again, you gotta play through guys, and the fans appreciating that, that display. For sure. Oh! 30 all. Just missed. Well, Johan's loose today. Okay. Game right. burn force. Oh, One game all. Burn force with the stare down. He's looking at oh, the crowd, yes. getting he's, pumped up. Yes, he is. He's enjoying himself. Great pickup. Oh, Johan. So Johan's uh, you know, in a little bit of early trouble here, Eddie. He's got to face in two break points and down 1-0. One One-on-one -on -one doubles. There's no partner. you got to play by yourself. That's what makes it challenging. All right. Yes. Again, Johan with a terrific half volley. Really socked the overhead there. And this is really what makes the format nice is that uh, at three all, the receiver gets to choose with this no ad format, and the matches move on pretty quick. Oh! 
in Creek. All right, Johan, he needed that hold. He's in one game ball. I think we're in for a battle here, Whitney. Both matches. Working these points down to the last last point, it looks like. Both matches are knotted up. Here we go with Wilkinson. Oh, he was hoping, but that one dropped like a dying quail back there in the baseline. Mm. Force is known for his great topspin oh, lobs, and he showed you how to turn defense into offense right there. That's his patented play. Sure he pulled on that in the old days. Oh, that's pretty. Gents, 15 love. Great angulation Gents. from Murphy. Well, this is why they call him Dr. Dirt. Holy cow. Lunging, reaching, grunting. Got some great intense work ethic. He wants it. He showed it right there. Let it come over. Oh. Oh, that's a beauty. Okay. <laughs> Yohan had him right where he wanted him. Pretty low. Murphy really hit a nice, nice uh, dipper there. Two all here. Oh. By the way, we're watching one-on-one -on -one doubles, the half-court serve and volley game. Played on the doubles court. Server has to serve and volley on both serves, or there's a loss of point. Faults. Oh. Tim kept it under uh, Perk Force's hitting zone, and that's how you're going to win a lot of points against him. You can't let the ball bounce up in his hitting zone. Here. He'll have his way with you. To make it tough on Creek. Oh, there's a nice serve, really. Bound it up. 40 high. 15, Jensen. Get a real smart placement on this serve. Make it tough on Perk Force to return. 30 40. Didn't give him a chance Pern on that one, Ed. Jensen. Look at this. That might have been that might have been the shot of the day thus far. Was that all string on that last shot? All right. All right Michael's got a couple break points here. There's that top Game spin lob again. He really disguises that well. Front fours leads two games to one. Some great one on one doubles, and we'll be right back. Well, my favorite days moment was when I won my first uh, Grand Slam title, which was in 1981 in the Australian Open. And the second biggest one was winning it again. And really the third uh, was on par was winning the South African Open because my whole family was there. It was the first time my father saw me win a major tournament. So those, those three were basically on par with each other. And we're back to the action in the first set as Jensen and Pernforce both picked up another game. So Michael's got a nice little cushion in his first match. And so Jensen's up three to one, I believe, same score. Sure. Let's see if we can close him out here. Oh. Murphy's showing a lot of touch for the big guy. Jensen. Great swinging volley. Love 15. It's another exciting shot you get to see a lot of in this game. He got a first serve in. And boy, love. It paid off big Jensen. time. He was thirsty for a first either, Ed. Let's see what uh, Dr. Dirt can do here and get himself back in this one-on-one -on -one doubles match. Just his first round match in this one-on-one -on -one doubles tournament at Golden Ocala. It's, it looks like a good one. Okay. Yes. Love 30. Tim's in a heap of trouble four. now. It's two points from going down 4-1. And every game counts in this format. It's short, first to five games, no ad. Oh, look at this. 40 low. Jensen. Murphy's found his rhythm on the serve here. Nice first volley there. He's stuck it deep. You gotta fight when you're at the net. You gotta fight hard to win those points. Oh, Johan. He needed that one. Get a little momentum going. We're going first to win five games. Tiebreaker at four all if they get there. Oh, 
30 all. Michael, Michael went to the topspin lob again, but just a little, a little heavy that time, a little long. All right, big, big point here at 30 all. Can, can Johan work himself back into the set? 4-1 Jensen, he needs one more game to win this match in the first round of the one-on-one -on -one doubles pro tournament here at Golden Ocala. You're watching one-on-one -on -one doubles, the half-court serve of all these singles game played on the doubles court. Another great return. Return and consistent battering of his body. Not a lot of angle to really yes. work with. Deciding point, receiver's choice. We got a, another exciting sudden death point here. Let's see if he can come up with another dipping return here. Big, big point. It's been tremendous up to this point. Let's see what happens. This could be a turning point for Wilkinson if he wins this point. Uh, four games to one. Turn fours. We're here today working on some one-on-one -on -one doubles, and I want to focus a little bit on the topspin lob. There are some things that I really think about when I hit my topspin lob, and one of them is that I want to have a backswing that's very similar to my regular forehand or my regular backhand. I also don't want to use a tremendous amount of topspin, uh, just control the height of the ball. And I also feel that to a certain extent, I'm not following through uh, as much forward as I would on a regular stroke. I'm going to go a little bit more sideways in, in the swing. What I'm trying to do here is hold the ball a little bit longer than I regularly would to even catch them moving forward so I can snap it, the wrist right at the end to get that ball to move up in the air. Notice I also come across a little bit more than I would on a regular ground stroke. Not to get too much power and control the spin instead. All right, so Johan's in a heap of trouble here, Ed. He's down 1-4. Let's see if he can work his way back into this match. Well, it's been exciting to see so far. Faults. Love 15. Right, Johan getting a little frustrated with himself. A couple of doubles haven't helped. Yeah, here comes Michael. He's trying to close him out here with this game. Steamrolling so far. Oh my goodness. Great lob volley. That's a real special piece shot. Burn four. Tim did everything right. He just couldn't combat those great reflexes. Yeah, well, he needs oh. to find his range on his serve. Oh, there we go. Little, you know? little payback. Nice law, nice law by Dr. Dirk. Michael was doing the right thing by closing. 15 oh, yeah. 30. Here's, here's Michael at 15 all. Yeah. 30 15. Tim went back to that law, but left it a little short on that one. Nice try, though. 15 40. Yeah. Consistent, you know? Whitney? That's correct, Ed. you got to stay consistent with your shot making to win games here. You want to beat yourself. Creek down match point. 15-40. Let's first serve. Now in college tennis division one, they'd be playing those let serves on the men's side. Okay, so Murphy's our first uh, first round robin winner. 5-1 over Johan. He's, Johan's going to have to regroup. Oh, he lost the point. 40 30. Fantastic. Burn and, for and that's the loss of point in one on one doubles. He didn't serve in volley, and hey, he loses the point. Thanks. Oh, well, there we go. Game. And set, burn for us. Five games to one. All right, we got our first, first round in the books, Ed. Well, my favorite tennis moment has to be when uh, my brother and I, as a family, won the French Open. It was a, a family goal, family dream, and it all came into fruition in 93. And then there's, of course, the transition in the coaching role where I coached the Washington Castles to two world championship titles, 09 and 11, for Mark Ein in, the, you know, in Washington, D.C. 
right, round two, we got Kernforce matched up against Johan. Murphy you know, against Tim. We got the two lefties. Ooh. Johan to serve. Oh. There we go. 16 love. Johan off Three. a good start. This might help his confidence. Let's see how Tim gets off the mark here. We've got to really focus to get off to a good start in this game. Hey. Love 15. Murphy is really dialed Ten. in today. Michael goes and checks, checks the mark. Whoa, uh, just missed it. Matchups are different now, so it's going to be quite interesting to see what happens here. Uh, Johan serving 30 love. Oh, 30 15. Just a terrific uh, reflex lob there from Pern Force. Tim's right. trying to make his return a little too good there, Whitney. I think he's just got to make him volley a little bit out of his zone. Comes Johan serving at 30-15. Let's see what Tim can do here. Got a little 30-15 advantage. 40-15. Getting that first serve in makes a world of difference. It's a big, big moment for Johan here at 30 all. Let's just get off the get off the mark sure. here. Up, oh, too good. You pinpoint so. that down the middle placement, and that's what you really have to do in one-on-one -on -one doubles. And that's what we're watching is one-on-one -on -one doubles, the half-court serve and volley singles game played on the doubles court. You got a serve and volley on both serves. All right, Johan facing break point. He wants to, wants to get this one and get it to that sudden death seventh point. Deuce. Nice deep first serve. So we'll, we'll, we'll go to a tie first break serve point. There's Tim serving 40-30. Playing two matches on one court here with one-on-one -on -one doubles. All right, Tim's off to a good start. He, he used that big kicker to the outside there. Took a little something off it. Receiver's choice. Interesting matchup with the two lefties. Right, here's our sudden death point here. Okay, that's 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 a feel-good game there for Johan there. Let's we'll see what the line call is. It was a close one. Here comes the umpire, checking this this mark on the three all point. <laughs> all right, so uh, oh, Michael not reacting game. kindly to uh, to the to the overrule. He's giving him the game. It looks but, like uh, Johan yeah. got the game. Yep, and we'll be right back. Today's tip in tennis is about the footwork and the sequencing of the footwork when we do the serve and volley. A little bit of a lost art in today's modern game of big time tennis from the baseline, but in my time we used a lot of serve and volley. One of the key points is that you have to absolutely land in balance after you serve, sprint those first three, four steps, split step when you get to the service box, and always meet the ball in front. Whether the ball is low on a return or whether it's high, you have to have lightning fast reflexes and always make contact with the ball forward and keep closing to the net. Not till you hang your nose over the net, but just to a position where you feel like you can put volleys away or hit an overhead for the next point. So let's go back and I'll demonstrate the serving volley footsteps for you. Sprint, split, close, finish. That's how you do it, one on one double. Game two here of the second round match for the one-on-one -on -one doubles pro tournament here at Golden Ocala. There's a couple of southpaws matched up here. What a beautiful club here at Golden Ocala Golf and Equestrian. We can't Love 15. Bit of an errant toss on that one. Focus. First point for Michael. Johan struck, struck it a tad long. All right, here's Murphy down low. That's a good one. Oh. <laughs> he played that beautifully. He had everything in mind, but it looked like he took his eye off that last volley lob. Ed. He liked oh, putting that, that overhead away. He loved hitting that one. 15 love for Pern Force.
That's a nice play from the Allen. Fifteen all. He, he looked like he relaxed on that one. And you see the way he, you see the way Creek took the net there away from the server. That's what he's going to need to do to win this tournament. I think more plays like that. Fifteen thirty. Yeah, Johan tried, 30, 15, tried to get in again, but you can't four. leave that ball hanging above the net strap, can you? You might have to wait until you get a little better ball to come in on. A lot of strategy in one-on-one -on -one doubles. You have half the court, alleys are included. You can hit the angles, the middle. Up. Oh. 15, 40. All right, you think Murph's getting a little tired? Wilkerson. Or? Johan played 40, 15. near perfect. Adam stretching and fetching. Purple. Now we're at 15 40, double break point. Uh, Murph serving. Wilkinson. Big point here. And serving well. Oh, that's a good return. Johan really, 40, really, 30. really loaded. Purple. Nice low to high swing over the net, low. Yep, very much. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, Johan's joking around a little yeah. bit, trying to stay loose. Oh, with these dual matches, the rhythm of the match can change quickly, but the players have got to adjust, Ed. Here we, oh, there we go. Look at this. That's, huh? You took the net away. Deciding point. That's, that's being patient but aggressive. Patient and aggressive will pay off. Tie-breaking point, Ed. Look at this. Oh, Johan. In Creek. That was a terrific point. Creek leads two games to love. So being up two love is. Yeah, Tim's feeling good. good. Up pretty good for Johan right now. And Tim's up two love. Love 15. Jensen. So let's see, Whitney, the momentum can switch in two, one or two points if you don't keep your focus. And then Johan. 15 love. Johan's really Creek. turned it around. He being the veteran of the group, maybe it takes a little longer to get going. Oh, there's a dipper. Love 30. Untied his shoe. Jensen. Creek's starting to get his rhythm here. Real solid deep volley though by Dr. Dirt. 30 Love Creek. Oh, look at this, look at this. Oh, he covered. My glass eye fogged up right away. <laughs> 30, 15, he, co he covered the middle, but there's a little, just too much stick him on that. Murphy went against the flow of his body there, uh, Whitney, on that inside backhand on the ad court. He's got to just make the guy play. Hit it right at him. Yeah, the, the directionals are so crucial in this game. They want to play the percentages. Oh. There we go. Johan with the look away, half volley, inside out, drop out, yeah. drop by. You're watching one on one doubles, the half court serving volley singles game. Oh. 30-40. Tim would like to have that Jackson. one back. Oh. Oh. Deuce. Oh, and he missed it. Deuce. Two left. He's dueling it out here for the... Final point of this third game. Oh, hey. Tim Tim's happy Wilkinson about leads. that. Three games to love. Michael's going to dictate where he has to serve to. Receiver's choice on the sudden death point. Here we go. Let's see if Johan can go up to play side. Oh, that's just, part four. that's just too good.
I'm here today to show you what to do to finish a point in one-on-one -on -one doubles. We're going to work on closing that volley, but if you don't put it away, you got to be ready for that defensive lob coming off your opponent's racket. Let's go. Close on the diagonal, recover, shoulder turn. Get up. My favorite tennis moment of 15 years in the Pro Tour was 1986 U.S. Open, my favorite Grand Slam, stadium court against the number five seed Yannick Noah from France, and I won in five sets. So that was my favorite tennis moment. And we're back, picking up the matches with Johan Creek having gone up three games to two and leading 30-15 in game six, while Wilkerson also leads 30-15, but with a 4-1 lead. Good kick. Good kick, sir. That's it. Now you can get that big angle. You don't have to go for the velocity. It's just directional intent and placement. He's giving it away. Burn Force trying to even this set up. Oh, he just missed it wide. Oh, my goodness. Game and set Wilkinson five games to one. And Michael's nodded it up. Game front fours. He's playing well. So now we just got the two guys going to play it out here to finish up this second set. For sure. Yep. Love 15. Again, it just seems that Michael's returns are just so consistently well placed. Love 15. Love, Love 30. This is a big momentum point. No. Nope. Tri triple break point here. Love, Love. Game right. front force. Right. Front force leads four games to three. Front force has a chance to take a commanding lead if he gets this game here, Ed. 15 love. Okay. Force is at 4 3. Oh, he's already. He's already. There's the 30, 30 love point from, from Michael. Oh, he's. he's 40 been, love. He's really playing, playing relaxed, confident tennis at this point. He's rattled off seven straight points. And, Right. Game and set burn fours five games to three. So Michael wow. Michael swung the momentum on that one. And Pern Force leads the tournament with ten games so far, Whitney. And we're going to okay. round round three. In the third and last set, Johan Creek was matched with Tim Wilkinson, and Michael Pern Force was matched with Murphy Jensen. Ah. Oh, that's a beauty. Pern uh, Force and Jensen engage each other in long ball. rallies such as this one. Oh, Murphy. Pern Force and Creek stormed out to 2-1 leads in their respective matches. We pick up the action midway through the fourth game. Johan's getting his rhythm. That's a clean half volley by Johan. He's still fired up. What he love here to go up 3-1, and he's, he's a couple games from winning this. And there it is. As long as Michael doesn't implode on himself, it looks like he can bring this yeah. thing home. He's got to keep his intensity. Put the ball. Does. 30-40. That's a beauty. Yes. Stretching him out, out wide, yo Deciding line, point middle shot. Choice. Sudden way to displace him in one-on-one -on -one doubles. Sudden death point here for big big for Creek here. Sudden death, that's what makes one-on-one -on -one doubles exciting. It's the half-court serve and volley singles game played on the doubles court. Well, here Tim's taking the deuce side. Not if you can chip that back game in that kind of accuracy. Two games all. They're all playing for first, second, third, and fourth play, so every ball counts. Here at the one-on-one -on -one doubles tournament, Golden Ocala Golf and Equestrian. 
Oh. Again, even about though 15. You, even though you didn't get a lot of depth on that, Evan, you get that much bend and action on the ball, it's not so easy to find that sweet spot. It's dipping down quickly, too, Whitney, and that's a hard one to hit a good overhead on. 15, love, Wilkerson. Race to the net. Oh my goodness. What a point. Wow. That was some super right, yeah. points there. Johan and all acknowledging you know. the crowd's appreciation. Murphy here. In a heap of trouble. Oh, a rare, 15 30. A rare Fern error Ford. from uh, Thurn Fours. He's just been so consistent off the ground. It's been the difference so far. Definitely outplaying the field so far. Pretty much the whole way through, per force. Oh! I don't know what, whether he meant to let Ooh. that go or not, but I think uh, he left out. getting a little rowdy here. Yeah, he's doing that. Nice serve. Per force doesn't give up. Oh, you see? He made it. Per force oh. outbattled him on that one. He got another ball back, Whitney. But these two are really going at it today. Both won numerous singles and doubles titles back in the day. Yeah. All right, just, there you go. Those doubles never help anybody. Oh. 30-40. Oh. Great stuff Turn there. Forward. I know you've been featuring this game 40, at all 30. the ITA conventions the last well, few years. They're, they're really enjoying it, the college coaches. Absolutely. The college coaches are getting a lot of value out of getting their teams uh, playing one-on-one -on -one doubles now around the country. And the game is uh, definitely ga gaining some momentum. Good to see it out here today with these legends. What a pick -up. Look at this. Holy cow. I mean... And Michael, that's Michael's up 4 1. Game for Fours. Burn Fours leads four games to one. Yeah, Murphy's congratulating him on that angle. Deuce, deciding point. So we got another receiver's choice. Another side, sudden death point. All right. Game, Wilkinson. Wilkinson leads three games to two. So it's three games to two, and we're going to be right back. Today we're working on the mid-court volley, or the first volley. Playing one-on-one -on -one doubles, you serve, come into the net, split step, play that return of serve cross court with good balance, move in and use your feet to push off for the second volley and hopefully put away from your opponent for a winner. Split step, balance, push off for depth. Fifteen love, turn fours. Murphy got a hold of that one, but just missed it wide. Oh, it's just too good. Oh, fifteen love. There's that one of his trick serves, and he's still able to get in. Oh my goodness! Oh, look at that. That's I mean, a nice tricky serve. You know, Ed's that that's Cirque de Cirque de Soleil. <laughs> okay. Turn fours is having I don't know what you blast. call that serve. But I think you got to be double jointed to hit it. <laughs> Oh, Johan might have flagged one there. Love 30, Wilkerson. All right, that's a good return. Get that ball to bounce. 30. we got to get that racket head below that half volley, and that time Perforce had his racket head a little bit up above that half volley and kind of got caught in the wrong grip. Uh, look, at, look at that penetrating volley. Uh, Love 40, Wilkerson. Look at this. <laughs> All right. There it is. Murphy. 30 all. Oh, great. 
That's just too good from Johan. 1540. <laughs> oh, he just, just massaging it. Great, 40, 30, great, 30, great show of touch and finesse there. And yep. Michael's, Michael's at match point. Great point. Oh, and there it is. So, and Wilkinson. So Tim goes up for it. Wilkinson leads four games to two. Jensen put a great ball right by him in the alley. That's funny. <laughs> oh, and Murphy hangs and in Jensen. there. So we got uh, front fourth leads, four games to two. Michael, he'd like to have that one back. Probably could have yep. closed the door on his victory right there. Oh. Oh, great stretch volley. Oh, he missed it. 15 love, Wilkinson. Tim made him hit that extra shot. Oh, again, a consistent love return 15. all day long. We've seen that. We're watching one on one doubles. The half court serving volley singles game played on the doubles court. 15 love for Tim. And oh. looks, like, love. looks like he knows Wilkinson. how to measure distances for a living. Makes it get exciting. He got a serving volley on both serves. Or you lose the point. Yeah. This game really enforces that serve and half oh, volley, again. low volley game. Love 30. Oh, so Tim's got triple triple match point for this third round. <coughs> Look at this. Look at this. Oh, Having a whale of a battle here. And there it is. So Tim. Game and set Wilkinson five games to two. So Tim finishes with a total of 11 games. Love it. So he's uh, might not be enough. Triple match point. Oh, and there it is. Game and for set. Turn four is five games to two. Fifteen. Fifteen. Wow. It's over. And that's it, guys. Michael Perforce is our one-on-one -on -one doubles champion here <laughs> at Golden Ocala with 15 points. Well, I think, uh, I mean, I was a little surprised that I played as well as I did. I'm not a particularly, uh, you know, I haven't played a lot of doubles lately, but uh, I, I felt like I was returning really well, which I think is big, and, and I put the first serve in play and tried to get in as quickly as I could, and I think overall I, uh, I felt very comfortable with, uh, with the format. Yeah, it was awesome. I'm going to keep, you know, I'm going to keep entering tournaments and keep playing. It's a great, it's a great middle ground. It's a great third way of tennis. Michael Pernforce, is, you know, the guy cheated. It really came down to Michael Pernforce in Sweden. Just came down, came to America and stole our trophies. They took our women. It feels Viking mentality. You know, the pillaging of our money and our ladies. No, it, it, it's an honor and a privilege to play this game in any format. And one-on-one -on -one doubles has a real bright future. And I look forward to implementing it into my programs back at Sea Island. We had an exciting inaugural one-on-one -on -one doubles professional tournament today. Ed Kras, the founder of One-on-One, -on -One, what are your thoughts? I thought it was a great display of one-on-one -on -one double skills. I love the way uh, all of the players played. Michael Pernforce in particular showcased consistency, power, angle, placement. That's the game that we really need to have our nation's juniors learn to play. And uh, it was just a real exciting uh, display of one-on-one -on -one doubles today.